Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Tiffany and I upload a new homemaking video every Sunday. Today we are going to be focusing on home decor, specifically Valentine's Day home decor. I am going to be putting together some DIY projects. Hopefully they turn out cute. I like my ideas and I ended up spending $7 on supplies from the Dollar Tree, but other than that, I didn't buy anything new and I'm not going to. So this is sort of a use what you have craft day for me and hopefully it will inspire you to dig through your craft stash and your old home decor that you don't use anymore stash and put together some fun stuff to sort of ease these post holiday blues so I'm gonna make the most of it and bring you along with me now what I have done is just kind of run around my house and I gathered up everything I might want to use I just want to be clear the point of this video isn't to show you particularly how to do anything but it is meant uh, to be inspiration to use what you already have this is sort of like a started project that I never finished but there are these hoops that I got at Joanne a couple of years ago and then I got some flowers from the Dollar Tree, but they ended up looking like I want this to be more. So I think I'm just gonna add on to this project and make this wreath a lot more full and turn it into something that is a little more Valentine-y. I might add some hearts or um, some sparkles or something just to make it look a little more lovey. And I think it'll be really cute. I have a ton of other flowers and stuff like that in my basket, so if I have enough, I want to make a window dressing for my front window, but we'll see. <laughs> I found these really cute little wooden signs at the Dollar Tree. This one says love and this one says XOXO. I want to make some pretend love letters to hang up in the window. I think that's going to be really cute and I'm going to put this on twine. I have not decided whether I'm going to add lights to that one or not because I only have green wire white twinkle lights. I don't know how I'm going to feel about them yet. So <sighs> I'm probably going to try them out and see if I hate them or love them. But like I said, I really don't want to go out and spend any more money. I want to just work with, it, with what I already have, which is actually quite a lot. I have these sparkly gold envelopes, which I may end up cutting into hearts or something like that. And then I have these paper doilies, and I believe they have these at the Dollar Tree right now. You can get a whole bunch for a dollar. And then I also have some pink paper that I just happen to have by my printer, and then I also have some red cardstock. I think what I'm gonna do is try my best to film my process and what I am working with here, and you can steal or not steal any of the ideas that I use, and you know, Feel free to tailor it to your own taste. Now I actually got this a couple of years ago as like a winter wreath, but I realized that these pink flowers stick in so easily. So I think what I'm gonna do is just add a bunch of pretty little pink, I think they're peonies. I think they're supposed to be peonies but they're a little Dollar Tree looking, but I think it'll add some pretty pink. And yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do for the wreath for the door. And I might put a little like sign on it that says I love you or XOXO or something like that. But the way that this wreath is made, these pink flowers are sticking in really easy. So I don't think this is gonna take very long. This was so fast, you guys. You can just add flowers to a wreath you already have for some other season. I'm so happy with how easily this came together. That really didn't take as long as I thought it would. Oh, I think that's kind of cute. This is kind of funky here. But I might fuss with this a little while later as well. Boom. 
Now it's time for me to do a little bit of painting. I have this sign to paint, I have this sign to paint, and then I have a whole bunch of clothespins that I wanna paint as well. Once I have all of my clothespins painted, I'm gonna work on making some cute little ornaments to hang from the clothespins <laughs> on my little clothesline, my little clothesline of love. Now friends, I am totally the kind of person who keeps acrylic paint on hand in their house. I had some red and white, so I decided to mix up some pink and paint these little clothespins pink, and I painted some white as well. And then I went to work on my little love sign. I painted the shadow part, the sides and the inside of the letters, I painted that pink. And then I painted the top white and I think it turned out really cute. I also painted my XOXO sign, but I painted that all pink. While my little signs were drying, I decided to go ahead and get to work on my little ornaments. And this actually ended up being pretty simple. I just cut this pink paper into quarters and made little pretend envelopes. I made one as the front and one as the back. So I just drew lines to make it look like it was the back of an envelope. And then on the other side, I just wrote be mine on the writing side where you would write the address. And I think they actually turned out really cute. I added some red paint pen hearts. Just made it a little bit extra charming. And then to finish off my clothesline, I just cut out a bunch of really cute little glittery stars. And I did some with like outlines and inserts just to mix things up. And I did decide to go ahead and use my twinkle lights because I came up with the idea to cover them up with this pink tool. It ended up being like a 13 year old girl, like dream come true Valentine decoration thing. <laughs> Probably not gonna do it again, but the sweet thing that ended up happening from me working on this project is I started thinking of my cousin Whitney who loved this color. And I loved her and she loved me. I lost her in a, she was in an accident when I was 22 years old and I lost her. But um, Valentine's Day was her birthday. So I always think of her and making this video really made me miss her. And I was really determined to have fun and not feel blue. But I, I, I certainly that snuck up on me and I started missing her a lot when I was working on this project. But it felt good to think about her at the same time. And as I put this up, I felt a little embarrassed, like it was a very immature thing to put up in my house. But at the same time, it was reminding me of her, so I decided to leave it. like how it turned out especially for not spending any money I want to figure out maybe I should have painted that white I don't know I might add some gold to that but we'll see so this turned out a little glam but I think that's okay I think it's fine it's a little Vegas Vegas Valentine's now that I'm looking at the finished product I know Whitney and I would have loved that when we were 11 years old that would have just been the most beautiful thing we had ever seen I don't know what I want to do on these windows. I think I want to do some kind of flowers or I might braid some more of that tool and hang that kind of like I did on the other window, but I feel like that's going to be cheesy over here. I'm not sure. Oh, you know what I think I can do? I think I can put a flower wreath in the center and then like drape tool away from it. It's going to look a little wedding like I think, but I think that could be really cute. I think I'm going to go with that. 
To get the flowers to stick to this wreath, I used some floral wire, which I also had on hand. Um, so it was really easy to just keep wrapping the wires around and adding flowers until I was happy with what I had. It turned out very Steel Magnolia's wedding. Like it turned out just like something that Shelby would have had at her wedding or something that would be part of the decor at a wedding that would be in the wedding singer. It was kind of fun. Once I got my pink tool relatively even, I went ahead and tied some little bows around these candlesticks just to bring them into the whole Valentine's Day vibe. I thought it would make them look a little bit sweeter, a little bit cuter, and I was right. I actually think this might be my favorite thing that I did out of all my decorating. And once I was done with that, I just took the rest of the flowers that I had and tied them up in this little piece of tool and hung them from the lonely window that didn't have any decorations on it yet. My last little project that I took on was a little sign to put on my bar cart. I had a piece of canvas down in my basement as well. So I just wrote je t'aime on here in my gold paint pen and it turned out pretty cute. I really wanna put something in the negative space here, this little blank spot off to the right. I'm not sure if I wanna do like some little hearts or I kind of want to do a little Eiffel Tower outline, but I'm not super confident that I can do it. And since it's going on the bar, I kind of also want to do like two um, glasses, like cheers, you know? I decided to go for the champagne glasses, but I was not confident about drawing them directly onto the canvas. So I cut them out of this paper you see here, and I went ahead and colored them ahead of time with my gold paint pen, and then I glued them onto the canvas, and it turned out really cute. This piece here, this heart with the puzzle pieces on it, actually is a craft that I did with some girlfriends, and it's so fun. All you do to make this is cut out a cardboard heart, and then you paint a bunch of puzzle pieces from a puzzle that doesn't have all the pieces anymore and then glue it around. It's super cute. Thank you so much for watching this video today, friends. Give it a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more of my homemaking videos. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram if you wanna see what I'm up to over there. And I just really hope this video inspired you to make the most out of things that you already have at home so that you can stick to your budget this year and make your dreams happen. I will see you next Sunday, friends. Bye.